This is Aaron with anetcomputers.com with another video for you today. This one deals with how to recover your Apple Music library if it has been deleted. So how to recover your deleted Apple Music library. This, ha this can happen for numerous reasons. I'm not going to go over that because there can be all kinds of different reasons. But this comes directly from Apple Support's website. Uniform Resource Locator on screen highlighted. You can just type that into your address bar of your web browser and you can read this on your own accord. So this deals with what happens when music is missing from your Apple Music library. Number one, you want to make sure that all of your devices are connected to the internet and then that your sync library is turned on. Sometimes if the Apple Music sync feature, synchronization feature is turned off, then you run into problems where maybe the music is not synchronized on that device that it is turned off. And then you have a seizure or now you're in a quagmire because you notice that the music on that device is missing and you think that it's been deleted. Here's some more troubleshooting. You want to verify that you indeed have an active subscription to Apple Music if you get behind if you cancel your subscription, what else? If you're behind on payment or you Apple didn't receive your payment for that month, yes, they will shut off your service. And that could be what's causing your music to appear as if it's been deleted. You also want to verify and make sure that each device that you use with your Apple Music library is signed in with the exact same Apple identification. If you use different identifications on different devices, that's going to probably cause a problem. And that could be the problem where your Apple Music library has appears as if it's been deleted. You know what I'm saying? So you just check in on each device or whichever device or devices plural that you're having a problem, just verify. You can go up into the Apple Music application and then choose account from the menu bar at the top and that includes all devices Apple iPhone Apple iPad and also if you're signed in to Apple iTunes on on a personal computer or Apple Macintosh just verify that indeed you're using the exact same Apple identification you cannot use multiple you can't use you know two different ones now here's some other troubleshooting steps if your apple music library music is missing on your computer now you can search for it too maybe you accidentally moved it or you know what i mean you can use finder on the apple macintosh computer and search for your music also on a personal computer with Microsoft Windows, you can use Windows Explorer. It has a search tool. You could also use Cortana Search on what, Windows 11 and search for your music that way. You can also look in the Apple Music or Apple iTunes. You would browse the file library and then update the cloud library. Yeah, this could also pr cause a problem if the, your Apple Music library is stored in different locations, you know what I mean? They're, they're, these are separate articles, I'm not going to go over them. That's why it would be advantageous for you to p perhaps pause this video and then type in the at Uniform Resource Locator on screen highlighted into the address bar of whatever web browser that you happen to be using. You can also check the cloud status on both Apple Macintosh and Windows Microsoft personal computers. And the instructions are here. You would go into music and then what? Choose library and then select songs and then you can change the view. And there's some view options and just double check. And you notice on this example, which I can open up in a different tab, make, make it a little bit easier. So on the left hand side, you're going to have listen now, browse, radio, 
And then on the right-hand side, you're going to have your list of songs. Now, notice on the right-hand side in this example image, it says removed. This one says waiting. That might be pending or something. They might have added it or just purchased it recently. And then this one says Apple Music. So that one means, I believe, that it's indeed available. And on that computer, these are obviously removed. You know what I mean? And then this one is waiting. There's also an exclamation point that can warn you. That just means that that song cannot be played or synchronized amongst your devices. And then there, there could be a locate button. You would just click locate. Okay, now this also could be a problem with synchronization. Your Apple Music library being deleted or it appears as deleted. It is waiting to synchronize. Now, if you, in that example, if you, any of your songs say waiting on the right hand side, the status, you want to make sure that your computer or your devices are connected to the internet. And then you can also double check the cloud library. You can update it. What you would do is you would go to iTunes. You would either use the Apple Music application or iTunes. Then you want to select file and then choose library. And then select the update cloud library. And that's supposed to try to synchronize across your devices. Now if you receive the status of deleted, that means, again, it may, or, it may be a false positive. It may be really deleted, you know what I'm saying, or removed. If you want that song to appear on, on all your devices or whichever device or devices, plural, that you're having a problem with, you want to make sure, again, that that device or devices, plural, are or is connected to the Internet. And then you would just click the arrow button, the down arrow, next to that song where it says that it is deleted. And then choose Add to Cloud Music Library. Again, go up to the file Choose File from the menu, and then select Library, and then this time click on Update Cloud Library. And then you want to give it some time to, it, hopefully it'll change from Deleted or Removed to then Waiting. And then hopefully eventually it'll say, it'll just say that it's, on, you know, like in the, the image. App if it's, if it's available, it should say Apple Music. You know what I'm saying? So you just want to be patient and give it a little bit of time. That is my eight minutes, a little bit of overtime. Now, if that Apple Music, either one song or multiple songs, are grayed out, it may mean that that song was purchased from the Apple iTunes store. And maybe you didn't authorize or the authorization is not working. That's a separate article. Again, you might want to type in this Uniform Resource Locator highlighted on screen into the address bar of your web browser. And then click on this additional article about authorization. I'm not going to go over all that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if the song was still grayed out, and you see this message no longer available. That means that that song was added from the app from Apple Music, and then it was removed from your Apple Music catalog. So let's see, what does it say? It doesn't really say much as far as troubleshooting. <laughs> it just tells you. I'm not sure if you'd have to repurchase it or try to add it to your Apple Music catalog. And I, and I don't know. I don't know all the details. I don't know if you, you if you remove it from your Apple Music catalog permanently, can you can you add it again and not have to pay for it again? I don't know those details. You'd have to investigate on your own. All right. So that is my video pertaining to how to recover your deleted Apple Music library. And good luck. Yeah, I know some people freak out when it comes to their music, their Brad's e circuses and. Oh my, oh my God, my music is gone. 
Well, it, it may or may not be. You know, you may be entering a quagmire, but if you follow some of these tips or all of them, hopefully you'll get your Apple Music library back. And it just it just could be a synchronization issue or it could be dependent on, you know, each specific device or, you know what I'm saying? That is it. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com to fix your most common computer problems. You can also find out the other platforms that I'm available, which include Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, YouTube, youtube.com slash anetcomputers with an S, plural. You can always subscribe to my YouTube channel, trovo.live, twitch.tv, and I think that that's it for now. Adios.